we have the intelligent rear entertainment control system for your Tesla Model 3 and Y. How to install this is first you want to remove the bottom cap where the OBD connector is located at. So underneath your armrest, you remove this cover here and that's how you gain access to remove this trim and be able to pull this outward to install the multimedia center. So you want to remove this first by placing a pry tool inside and pull this out. And now there's two screws on both sides. Using a torque screw T20, you can go ahead and unbolt these two nuts. Store those two T20 torque screw to the side in a safe place. Now you're ready to pry this whole compartment up. Go ahead and yank torch yourself. So you will need to unplug. So this is your charger for your USB USB A in this case. So make sure you order the right one when you're replacing this. You do have to swap this over to the new Handshow rear entertainment system. Next, what you want to do is remove two additional Torque 20 screws. Okay, there's one, two. You can use the same screwdriver, the Torque 20 screwdriver, to remove it. In order to remove these vents, there's actually four clips. So you want to use a pick tool. There's one on each corner. So when you pry this open, you want to wiggle that out. And there's another clip on each side in the inner housing. Same clip. So you need either a flashlight so you can actually see where the clip is. And then pop that open and this will come right off so you can see there there's one two and there's one two total of four these two are the trickiest to pop open so you need a pry tool or a small head screwdriver something like this to be able to pop those open without cracking the clip Next, you want to remove this USB housing. So these two USB with a Torque T10 screw. So there's two of them, one right there and one right there. One right there, one right there. And then just slide this out and there's your two USB-A and if you have the USB-A for the handshow display itself it comes default with the USB-C so you will have to remove this one from the actual handshow display so if you need to swap the handshow USB-C to USB-A you need to remove these screws, these small Phillips screw out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so in this bag, you just swap that out and then you'll be able to install it. So let's go ahead and remove those eight screw. Just take your time.
Okay, so once you have those eight Phillips screw out, go ahead and pop this open. And just like that. So swap this out with the hand show provided USB. Okay. Next, you want to install this supporting bracket right here. And this will hold the actual display on top to stabilize it. So this does come with the bag and package that is provided within the hand show rear display kit and it sits like this. Okay, so go ahead and take this out. And that is it. So now you can see the opening there. You will screw this on top after you reinsert this back on. So before you do, go ahead and place the vent back on. So in reverse order, you want to place this on where those four clips are at. And next, you want to go ahead and insert the USB-A or USB-C port back in. Just slide it right in. Go ahead and put those T10 torque screw back on. And you don't have to over tighten it, just enough for it to be secure. And now go ahead and replace the vent back on. Again, with the four clips facing the bottom. And then once you have this vent back on, make sure you put on those two silver screw, this Torque T20, and just tighten it up. All right, now we got the vent back on and you're ready to install this back on. And connect the extension, which is an AMD, or if you just have the Intel, then you will use their Intel wire only connecting to the computer up front by the passenger footwell. Okay, so you want to fish the wire up. If you don't want to take this cover on the bottom out, go ahead and fish the wire that connected the display up like that is this wire here and then connect it to the actual display so once it's connected go ahead and push the wire back down now you can mount this so now the rear is finished you just need to screw this anchor on top where you put the bracket earlier so there's the bracket underneath this cover, you want to place this screw that hand should provide and screw that on. Okay, so once you have the screen all attached, the vent attached, go ahead and place the bottom cover back on. So we pull this cover out because we want it to run the wire from the actual computer up on the passenger side the a pillar which we'll show you in a brief moment um, underneath here and then go ahead and place this cover back on so once that's secure go ahead and connect the actual computer wire to the actual display so that's the wire from the display and then don't forget to plug in your USB port. That's the wire that you disconnect originally when you took this vent off. And it's located underneath there, right there. Plug this back in. And 
And then just tuck away the screen wire into the bottom of the vent so it doesn't get in the way. Let me place this back on. And last, put the Phillips screw onto the actual top of the anchor where you originally install the anchor bracket. So screw that on. And it's critical that you install this. And now you can close this bottom cover back up. So up next, you pry up four clips and you take down this cover. So these are the clip that you want to pry open. And there's one, two, three, and four. So you can use a small pry tool. And this allows you to gain access to the actual computer module. So it will be to the silver computer here. This is for Intel. Let me get a light in here so you can actually see. So I'm gonna point that out for you right here. That gray right there, that gray plug, focus there. That's exactly where you want to plug it in. So it's the second plug from the bottom. So it's that plug. We already have the instrument cluster plug-ins. So we will just piggyback off that plug right there. And for the display, it actually comes with the Intel and it's labeled Intel or it's labeled AMD. So it's attached to each other so you don't have to worry about the wiring missing so we'll be plugging this into the actual computer and then the actual wire from the car goes into here so that's how you connect the display and after you got the wire connected to the computer go ahead and connect this wire to the actual display computer so it comes with this little module and then you just tuck everything away behind the carpet and then the wire along the trim. Okay, so I ran the wires, connected everything, and now it's working perfectly. So let's check out this display. As you can see, we have the fan speed going. And of course you can change the temperature can increase the fan speed. You can turn off the rear fan. You can turn on the seat heater. All off immediately. You can power off the display. Here's some settings. You can go back to apps. So this has Google Play. So this has Play Store. Of course, you can sign on using your hotspot or just go back home and then you can use a data SIM, which they do have a slot up here for it. See right there, you have your audio jack as well as your USB for software update. You can control your music. You can play it from here or from the actual car speakers. You can skip, turn on volume.
here's the video quality so that's almost 4k I would say you go settings change your language change your dark dark mode or set it automatic change your Fahrenheit system here's your network you set your Wi-Fi Android setting so yeah I mean with Google CarPlay itself it's a game changer you can use this as a navigation so many function let's go ahead and take this screen protector off and that's how you install the rear entertainment system from Hanshaw.